My name is Emerson Morris, and I'm an educator. And we're back again for this second video. So remember, we had some homework to do. And the thing that we had to find out, are we afraid going back into the classroom in this 2020 school year? And yes, believe me, we all, we all have something to be afraid about. But we said there's nothing wrong with being afraid, but we have to identify what it is. Now, understand this, I got some homework, as we did our homework, is emotions of fear. There's all different types of forms of emotions of fear. Fear of the unknown. Fear of what to expect. Fear of uh, repeating something that our lineage repeated. We all go through it. I don't care how old you are, how young you are, what you think of yourself. We all have fear. But today I want to identify the fear of anxiety. Let me say it again. The fear of anxiety. I wrote a book. And believe me, this is a book that you want to purchase called Defeating the Giants from Within. And one of the things I found out when I was doing my research by Judy Picoult, there's a, a researcher, a saying that she said, anxiety is like a rocking chair. It gives you something to do, but it doesn't get you very far. And you just can rock, 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 rock. And in our mind, as we're rocking, and our minds, as we're rocking, we're thinking that it's bringing healing, but it's not getting us very far. I want to ask you a question. What is the thing that you're rocking in? What is the thing that you're rocking in your sleep of fear about and having anxiety about? Is it going into the classroom? Is it dealing with your children? Is it dealing with yourself? Is it dealing with your mate? Is it dealing with your career goals? You're rocking uh, finances, food provision. We all have something that we're rocking in, that we're trying to get a better understanding in and saying, how is this going to come to pass? Or how is this going to happen? But you have to understand, we have to get to a place to become stable. We have to get to a place to become sound and, and really understand that no matter how fast I rock, nothing ever changes. I want to tell you a secret. When I was taking my test to be cert become a certified educator, Man, my palms will get so sweaty. My forehead will have sweat coming down my face as I'm getting ready to take that test. And I want to tell you a secret. As I was sitting in that test proctor and preparing to take the test, even though I prepared for the test, even though I studied the curriculum of the test, when I sat down in front of that test, getting ready to take it, my mind automatically went to the outcome of the results. Not the positive outcome, but the outcome of did not pass. And I, I had to ask myself, why in the world am I feeling so much anxiety? And it dawned on me because I had negative outcome thinking. This year, 2020, as educators, we cannot have negative outcome thinking. Once I identified, it wasn't the anxiety I was dealing with, but it was the negative outcome of failure. You have to say to yourself, I'm a winner. I'm winning. I'm going to be okay. I'm, 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 I'm going to get through this as an educator, as a father, as a mother, as a person, as an individual, in my, in my singlehood, in my marriagehood, or whatever hood you, you stay in. But you're going to get through this. We're educators. We're strong to do this. We're essential workers. We're called to do this. We're going to be okay. Hey, this is your boy, Emerson Morris. Looking forward to seeing you in our next video. Remember, we wear multiple hats. That's why we're called to be educated. Have a good one.